Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. It's the XK X520 vertical takeoff. It's a six channel vertical takeoff aeroplane with uh, brushless motors and it's got right, it's got um, a 3000 kV brushless motor to him. It's got a 2S 7.4, it says here 5, 550 milliamp battery, but actually it's not, it's um. It's a 900. It's not a 950, it's a 900 um, milliamp battery because uh, a 950 won't fit in here. And I'll show you in a minute. Now, there are three versions of this. There's the old version, which is exactly the same as this, but it's that, that light that's, that's uh, your binding light. On the original one, it was inside inside that grill and it was really hard to see so they brought out another one with a brighter light which is on the outside and um, they they make one where it's got uh, light strips on there so you can fly it at night which is the same version as this and also an FPV version where you got an FPV camera in there um, and it's got an SD card slot here but this one isn't. This one's just the um, updated version, but it's got. I've got the um, uprated controller with it as well. The X8. The original came with the X4. Now the trouble with the X4 was, you you could only get about 150 meter range on it, whereas with the X8 you get, I believe it's about 300 meters, and you really need it with something like this because 150 meters, this this will go out of range pretty quick at that kind of uh, distance and speed. So, um, where do we start? Okay, um, well let's start off with, with uh, the simpler things. You get you get your, um, your charger, which is, you know, your, your average charger that you get on most XK products. You know, you just get that and the charger, but I didn't get I didn't get the Euro plug with it. But I'm not that bothered because I've got loads of them anyway, but you can get um a battery shaver um socket which goes in like that. Now you can buy these in the pound shop. Um if you can, try and get a one amp version because it'll be less stress on the battery. But yeah, you, you, could, you could buy that. I, I, like I said, I didn't get it with it. Maybe, you know, if, if you buy one, maybe you will get it, but I, I didn't. But anyway, that, that's, that's that side of it. Now here's your battery. Now it, it weighs 47.6 gram. Now, it's quite a chunky monkey, that one. It is 900 milliamps and not 950 like it states. It's um, a 2C. You got your, your standard, um, you know, plug on it. Uh, I, I believe it's a JSC connector. So you got that that goes in there. Flight time's about uh, 10 to 12 minutes, something like that. So you might want to get a couple of these. You can go smaller. You can put the um, the three hundred milliamp um, hour one on it that you get with the uh, Sky King and the A six hundred. They'll go in. They'll they'll fit in now, but they probably won't last as long. So it, it's up to you. I mean, by now these should be like pretty pretty cheap and easy to get hold of. Right. So what you get with the boxes, you get you get a spare set of props. And you get a little screw in there. I don't know what the screw's for, because it doesn't it doesn't take any screws. This is quite easy and quick to assemble in the field. However, what I did get with this, which is a bit strange, and I don't know if I should have got it with it, because it doesn't say anything on the box. 
I've got a spare wheel with mine, but the difference with this wheel is with, with this one here, it's not the same. This one's got a different angle. The, the, the angle on this is, is um it's more forward. So it'll go in like that and, and it'll I don't know whether that's to do with the, with it like being more vert you know horizontal well more because it this wheel seems to stick up at an angle like that but with the other wheel it sits more straighter uh, I don't know what the significance of that is but anyway um doesn't matter but yeah I, I got that with it now I'll go I'll go over the controller first before I bother with the uh, thing right you get the x8 controller Right, this is the X8 version. It's full size, and um, you got you got buttons that don't do anything. Okay, they're, they're all blank. I believe on the X16 controller, which is a helicopter controller, it's exactly the same as this, but all these buttons will actually function. So these are just all blanked off. Now, when you first get this, it will tell you to um, adjust the sticks. All right, okay. Now. As you can see, they're quite stringy. Um, the throttle is is um, okay, you know. You can you can turn these uh, these sticks out so you can you can raise them slightly. And I believe there's like a little um, a lock nut underneath it, so you can lock them into place. Now on the back here, you've got three um, rubber sort of grommets. The middle one don't worry about but these these two here if you take these rubber boot covers off put a screwdriver in there you can actually um, adjust the sensitivity of the sticks to make them stiffer or more sort of springier there's a plate inside there with a spring and the more you turn it in and out the more pressure it puts on the spring and you can adjust the sticks to how you want it but for me uh, it, it seems okay as it is Anyway, that, that's that. Uh, you've got your trim buttons. Now, these are quite weird because because it's got no rudder as such, I, I believe that these these here are for your flaps. But when you adjust one, the other one adjusts down, so you have to, you have to um, do it with that as well. I don't think these two do anything. They didn't seem to, anyway. Um, you've got automatic takeoff. So you put the stick in the middle, after you bind it, which I'll go through in a minute, um, you press your takeoff button, and it'll do a vertical takeoff, and it'll do a position hold, just like a quadcopter. So it'll it'll it will take off like that, and it will it will stay about a meter and a half in height. But you can you can make it go higher, and then you use your sticks, and you can turn it. You can bring it forwards and backwards like that. You can tilt it, so you can. So if you want to land in the wind, you can you can fly. You know, um, to the side of it, so you don't get all the buffering. So it's it's, it's perfectly controllable at any angle. And and that's all done on this stick. You pitch and roll. You you got um, your aggressive moves like if you. If you do that, one flap goes up, one flap goes down, and you could do aggressive turn spins. You could fly it upside down, um, all sorts of stuff. Right, um, you got your stick mode there. Now you got high and low on this. You got um, eighty percent and a hundred percent, and that's on all three settings. So you, you got um, vertical mode, which is just vertical. You got um, 6G mode, which is where the gyros will keep it level and you can't, it's really hard to crash. And then you've got 3D mode, which means that all the, all the accelerometers and I, I believe the gyros still work to a degree. Um, it gives you a little bit of stability, but you're mainly on your own with that one. So that's for advanced um, flyers only. Uh, they, they, I've got to say that the... Um, the, the flaps are quite aggressive on that mode. They they, re, they really tilt up and down a lot. So that will give you really fast banking. 
So, um, yeah, personally, I'm not ready for that yet. Right. Um, so that that's that. So you got you got high and low on all all settings, eighty percent and hundred percent. And you yeah, to, you got automatic land as well. So you, when you press that again, it will come in and land on its own. Uh, now there's two ways of landing this. You can either like use it use a runway and take off from from the ground and land on the ground, or you can you can come you can you can fly around and then as you come to land, you press the you press the um, the V mode and it will come down like that. It will land and if you think you're going to go backwards on it, say like you're on unstable ground or you know there's a stone in the way or even if there's a wind, if you tilt forward slightly just just by doing that. It will push it forward and make it land on the nose, because then it won't damage the props. Um, what else? Ah, yeah, you've got a uh, emergency stop as well. If you press the stick mode and the photo button at the same time, it will shut the motors off. So that's that's basically the controller. I think I've gone through everything on that, but um, that's that. Now, um, the good thing about this is, it all strips down. You see, you've got the, the um, stabiliser just unclips. That's, that's how you put it in the box. It's got these nice little sliders on there. But you just put it in there and clip it on. Same with these things. They've got like these, these twisty things. You, you push these on and then you, you twist them and it holds them in place. So, um, oh, and the wheel as well. The wheel just pulls out. So basically, that that's that's that. So it's quite quite quick and simple to set up once you're in the field. Right now, I I bought this from Banggood, and uh, I ordered it on a Sunday, and it came through on the Friday. So that's five days. Five days that took to come through from China. It's not bad. What I will say about this battery bay, now I know it's a lot of people have been complaining about these, but is it, there's actually a knack. When you put the battery bay on, it, it, it sort of, it wants, look, it just wants to fall out, but it's got a clip in it. What you do is you push it in and then you push the clip forward. You hear that click? That's now in. I don't think a lot of people realise that and they were complaining about the battery bay um, like won't shut properly, but it does actually click. Maybe that was on the earlier version. It didn't do that. I don't know. Right, so let's see what this thing does. I can't remember which way you have to you have to do this. Whether you put the battery in first or the controller. But um, let's give it a go and see what happens. This. <clears throat> right, so that's. You got you got a blue light that comes on that blinks. Well, it did. That's it. See, it's blinking. Right. Then you switch the controller on. I think. Right now, it won't do nothing at the moment. You, when you first switch this on, make sure the sticks at the bottom. Then you bind it just like a, a quadcopter. So you go up and down, and now that's bound. Now, for this to work. Because it still won't work, see, what you do is you put the stick modes like that. And it still ain't working. To bind it, you do that. So that's now bound, but I've already done that, so um, I think I've done this the wrong way around, to be honest. Right, so let's, let's start that again. We'll, put the, we'll switch the controller on first. You put the batteries in, bind it up and down, and then, oh, there we go. Right, yeah, it's working. Right, that's it. Now, these are your controls, okay? So you got up, down, you got um, left, right, left and right. What mode am I in? Oh, I'm in, I'm in the normal mode. Right, 
So you've got all that. I'm going to bind this actually. Oh, oh well, I'll do that later. Right, uh, what else? What else have we got on here? Um, right, so here, this, right, I'll put it in. Right, this is in. Now look at that, see? This is in 100% mode. Look at that. That's quite aggressive, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that somehow. Now, as I said, I've got this in. I've got this in uh, 6G. So, there you go. There's, there's the gyros. As you turn, it'll. it'll um, you know, it'll it'll help you turn and all that. And then when you level, see, it all it all it all stabilizes. I think it does that in vertical mode as well. There you go, in vertical mode, it's straight. And then when you're flying about, oh maybe the maybe the uh, gyros don't work when you. No, you don't. Oh, that's because I haven't used the automatic takeoff. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm not going to bother with that. But anyway, that that's that's what it does. So basically, that's it. You know. Um, very hard to crash apparently. Oh, very hard to crash. Now this battery is quite a tight fit in here. I don't think you can use any other battery. You can't go bigger than this. Look, that is pretty tight in there. Pretty tight. And um, you can just about just about fit this and then, and then put the wires in. See, look. It's very, very tight. But, um, yeah, you can't go bigger than this. Maybe you can put a heavier battery at the bottom and put an elastic band around it, but I don't know. I haven't tried any of that. But basically, that's it. Just remember that when you when you put the battery cover back on, push that clip forward until it clicks. See? And that's 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 that. Well this is gonna be my part one video. Um I'm gonna be doing a run-up video to this where I'll, I'll I'll be flying it. But what I'll be doing is because I've never flown anything like this before and I'm quite a newbie at this sort of thing, I'm gonna be um mainly practicing in my vertical takeoffs and that because as I said you can control this forward backwards turn tilt you know um, that's going to take some getting used to just to um, you know uh, control it to um, get it to do all the maneuvers especially on a breezy day um, and then like level out and then fly it but um, I'll be doing some run-up videos Trust me, so um, I'm going to be having a lot of fun with this. Um, yeah, so you're going to have to keep checking on my channel and uh, or subscribe. And uh, when given the time and everything and the weather, of course, um, we'll be seeing a lot more of this in action. Well, basically, that's it then, folks. Um, you know, altitude hold, vertical takeoff, um, the uh, YouTube channels are awash with this sort of thing, so I don't think my my review is going to be any more different. But um, yeah, you know, if you get a chance, get one. But um, make sure you get you you pay the extra nine pounds and get the X8. Very important that because it, it it allows you a lot more distance. The FPV camera don't I don't recommend. Why don't I recommend it? Well, because it's only got a 30 degree angle, uh, so you'll be shooting ground most of the time. And also, it's 5G only. 
So you need a 5G phone. You download an app and then you can um, bind it all to the app just like you would with, with anything else. But it's 5G only, okay? Um, as I said, the camera angle, I think it's 7, 720p, uh, which is, you know, mm, uh, all right. But, yeah, the um, it's just it's just pointing to the ground, unless you go quite high. The, the 30 degree angle is a bit, a bit um, silly, really. But, if you want the basic version, you can always put an FPV camera on this anyway, so, you know. Uh, there you go, that's that's it really, that's that's all I can really tell you about it. But um yeah, check check out the uh, channel later on and I'll I'll do some flight videos with it. Okay folks, well thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.